Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, Auntie Sita from BDC West Indian Supermarket in Lauderhill, Florida is sharing her recipe for curry chicken and shatine with us. So sit back and relax. Let me show you how easy this one is going to be and trust me, it was delicious when she made it for me. So we're gonna start with our chicken pieces washed and cleaned and we're seasoning with salt. In goes chopped scallions, or saif as we say in Trinidad, pimento peppers, chopped onions, black pepper, green seasoning. Next we're going to go in with minced garlic because I actually forgot to and give that a mix. You can allow it to marinate for an, up to an hour, you can use it right away or even marinate overnight. So once you've finished seasoning your chicken and it's ready to be used, you're going to put up your pot on a medium heat and add in oil. Before the oil comes up to temperature, we're going to add in some meaty or fenugreek seeds, just a couple, so like a pinch, and a pinch of jeera or cumin seeds. And we're going to allow those to toast until they're dark. And once they're dark, I'm using this nine spice curry powder. You can even go for a darker curry if you wanted to. I prefer the yellow curry. She did make hers a little bit darker, so if you wanted to mix in some duck and goat curry in there too, you can. Once the curry feels grainy, add in some water to help it cook. You're going to allow it to cook until it, the curry starts to thicken and the oils start to separate from the curry. Now this is what it would look like. Give it a mix and now it's time to add in the chicken. So this is the first step, is bunging down the chicken. Now you're not going to add any water to this step. You're just going to allow it to fry up in that curry. And if you wanted to add some jeera, you can. If you wanted that darker curry along with some amchar masala. So just allow it to bunge it down and let that curry flavor lock into the chicken. Now I'm following her steps as best as possible. So now at this point, I'm going to take it off and empty it into a bowl and set it aside. Clean out our pot, we're going to be using the same pot. We're going to place the chicken aside and place the pot back up on your stove on a medium heat and add in a little more oil. And we're going to go in again with some meaty seeds. When that browns, we're going to go in with aromatics. We have chopped onions, chopped scallions, and pimento peppers, and we're going to saute until it's light brown in color and very fragrant. Now, once the onion starts to turn a darker brown, we're going to go in with some minced garlic and saute until the garlic starts to turn brown. If you were to add the garlic before, it would burn before the onion has a chance to get brown. So now at this point, we're going to use the same nine spice curry powder or you can use whichever curry powder you would prefer as I said. And all of the seasonings and spices seen here can be found at the supermarket. Add that in and give that a mix and I'm also adding in some turmeric powder which is totally optional. Mix that and toast for about one minute. Drop your heat to low. You don't want to burn the curry and then once it feels grainy go in with some water just like we did before to help the curry cook so about a quarter of a cup and mix that in and we're going to let it toast for a minute until the oils start separating once the oil starts separating and the curry has thickened we're going to go in with the cleaned shatine, also known as bread nut, and also known as katahar. If you have steamed, you can add that too to the chicken, but you really want to make sure to cook down the shatine first until it's tender before you add in the chicken, because the chicken will finish cook and the shatine wouldn't. Now I'm giving that a mix and allowing it to bungee down or fry up in that curry. And once that happens for about five minutes, then we'll go in with water and coconut milk to help it cook. So once it starts sticking to the bottom of the pot, that's how you'll know it's ready for the water. 
We're locking in all of that flavor into the chatine. So now add in enough water to cover the chatine. And then I'm going in with a packet of coconut milk powder or you can use fresh coconut milk. Whatever you have on hand, give that a mix. And now we want this to come up to a simmer. Now I did add in some salt, but the camera missed that. So you would want to add in about a half of a teaspoon of salt. Give it a mix, allow it to come up to a simmer. And we're going to allow this to continue to cook until it's tender. Now this is what you are looking for. You see as it starts to break down and it gets tender. Now we'll go in with the chicken. And mix that in if you were to add the raw chicken at this point it will just be very white hence the reason why you had to bungee it first before adding it into the chatine so now this is going to continue to cook until the chicken is cooked and the sauce thickens a little further just like this and to finish this I'm finishing with some roasted jeera powder you can add as much or as little jeera as you want Taste and adjust your salt and then this is ready to be served. It's great over rice or with roti. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thank you Auntie Sita so much for sharing your recipe with us. Guys remember to check out the supermarket BDAC West Indian Supermarket in Lauderhill, Florida. I'll leave their address in the description box for you all. Here you can get all of your Caribbean items. So thank you all so much for joining me. Do remember to stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.